And we're back. You're tuned into Sport Federation TV. I'm Lynn Yuk the Chetty. Now from the Cape Wildlands, we have Kevin Green from Cape Wildlands Cycling to give us more information about the prestigious upcoming PAR 6 event. Welcome, Kevin. Very nice to have you in studio. Thank you so much, Lynn. Uh, privilege to be here. Yes. Now tell us about your role in uh, Cape Wildlands Cycling. Yes, at the moment, I'm the, I'm the event organizer of uh, PAR 6. Um, I've been a competitive cyclist in the 80s and the 90s, um, lost uh, a bit of track with uh, the cycling side basically. Um, but, but recently I saw the need to, to develop our own riders by actually putting up events that are internationally acclaimed as well. Mm, absolutely, because it is expensive for the South Africans to travel abroad, hey? I think that's one of the benefits um, because uh, uh, for our riders to travel overseas, is, it's, it's quite a lot of money and, and then you can't just go for a week or two. You need to go for three months at a time or for six months. Mm. And uh, the idea with Paul 6 is then to attract international cyclists um, to expose our, 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 our local riders to this international level of cycling. And then hopefully by that basically is to, is to, is to let, let our, our local riders then um, look forward to international careers. Uh, is, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Now, Pulse 6 is, is historically stemming from a very prestigious event. Tell us about the history of this. Yeah, the six day, uh, Pulse 6 means that, that, that it is a six day track cycling event. Um, it, w it started in Europe. Uh, the, the, the current form was, was, was basically defined in the States. Um, so, it's, so it's teams of two riders each uh, that, that participate over a six day period. Um, and uh, they actually participate in six events every day over six days, which is 36 races over six days. They accumulate points along the way. But the winning team over six days is the team who, that completes the most laps. Years ago, it was actually a 24-hour race. So while the one rider was sleeping and, and actually re uh, recuperating, uh -huh. the other rider was racing. And then, then it was defined to, a, to basically, uh, in Europe, for instance, you get the London 6, you get the Ghent 6, the Munich 6. And it starts at 6 o'clock in the evening and it finishes at 2 o'clock in the morning. Right. So now, is, uh, the, now you're saying that it's six days, six events, 36 events in total. And, and you're saying it's a team, it's a team sport. It's a team of, team of two riders that, that participates every night uh, over six days. And, and that is what actually I think makes it, makes it uh, or it also makes it a very strenuous event. And that's why I term it as the ultimate, the ultimate endurance track cycling event um, in the history of South Africa. Wonderful. Now you've managed to convince the powers that be to let Cape Winelands host this event. Was that a difficult task? We started last year, I started last year and, and I think the first point of reference was uh, going to Cycling South Africa and, and obviously getting it sanctioned. Mm. From there going to the Drakensin municipality and they immediately bought into the, uh, the idea. Um, this year we are fortunate to, to have Cape Winelands Spo uh, Sport Council. They also bought in Cape Winelands Cycling as well as um, currently we, we also uh, speaking to the Department of Cultural F Affairs and Sport. Um, so so, so we've, we've pretty much got, got everyone on board and, and, and now we, we obviously uh, want, want to grow this event into, into a seven nations. Last year we were, we were only two nations with a, with a visiting team from Ireland. This year we've got two international teams visiting us with quite a few uh, of our South African teams. So yeah, the eventual goal is to actually get this to grow to a Seven Nations event. Yeah, and where it's like one of those events, a must-do event on the cyclist calendar. Hey. That's correct. In Europe, for instance, the cyclists, they, they, they stand in the road to get invited to, to one of these events. Mm. Uh, in South Africa, it's still a new concept and the riders are still uh, a bit slow to enter. But we already have three more teams than, than the 2017 edition. All right. Sure, when you're streaming or whichever medium you're using, once they see how beautiful the PAL area is, everybody else will want to come for the next one. That's correct, because years ago already, with, uh, there was riders that did the Tour de France. Mm. European teams that would come in December and January to come and do their preparation for their road season that starts in February, March. 
So the area, the conditions, um, the warm weather, the mountains we have here is all ideal mm. for the overseas riders to actually come and come here and actually prepare as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean Cape Islands is definitely a cyclist paradise. Hey? That's correct, no, definitely. Yeah, We've got all the mountains that uh, you, you need to train. Um, we've got Bains Grove right there, we've got the Twaze Grove, we've got Franz Hook Pass. Mm. Uh, so lovely, lovely, lovely routes to actually train on, yes. So wh who's the uh, South African uh, cyclists to watch out for at the event? We have quite a few uh, 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 top teams that's going to actually participate. We have a team uh, in George Perrins and Graham Ockes, our local riders. We've got Alexander Parsons and Rocco King. Rocco King was one of the first riders last year that actually participated. Mm. Um, then we have our current national sprint champion, Jean, Jean uh, Smith from the Western Cape also. Um, we have, um, and he's, Jean is partnering with Rein, Re, uh, Reinhard uh, Marie. We have um, Bernard Esterhuizen. Bernard was at one stage also at the International Cycling School in Switzerland when he, when he was a junior. He's, he's partnering with Brandon Christians from, from Paul. So we've, quite a, we've got quite a few teams. We've got a team from Gauteng Racing, a few junior up-and-coming riders. So we've got 10 teams racing Paul 6. And I hear there's a hundred thousand rand up for grabs. That's correct, yes. Wow, correct. lovely. So a lot of lot of effort went into securing all the arrangements because it is a lot of arrangements with road events. Hey. No, definitely. And I think with uh, the track essays also being currently on, it was it, it was it was quite tricky yes. to position the event uh, before the boxing the event as well. Yeah. Okay. Now for the spectators that would love to attend, what can they? Uh, what would be there for their benefit? You know, the spectators, um, uh, the s cycling in Paul, track cycling specifically, is always, we always term Paul as the mecca of cycling. Mm. Um, and uh, because it's coming from, the, I think, around about the 30s already, track cycling and road cycling was quite big in, in, the, wi it, in, the, in the Cape Winelands. So we have, we have the top class uh, uh, track riders in the country as well as internationally that's coming to participate. Uh, one of the riders did the London Six this year from, uh, from, from Denmark and um, both Dan Danes also did the, Bel did, the, did the Gen Six about three weeks ago. Mm. We have on an entertainment level, we're also combining international top class cycling with, uh, with, 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 with top class live entertainment. Um, I don't know whether you want, want me to, to, yes, to venture in, in, into, into that on... We have uh, Bouncy. I don't know if you go on, go on Facebook in here and you just uh, uh, search for Bouncy. Bouncy is from Tilbach. Bouncy is a star stand up uh, comedian. We have one of the minstrel groups, the Hotshot Panthers, on the 18th and the 19th. On the 19th, we have one of the youngster generation DJs, uh, DJ Casper. We also have uh, a YGN Gen youngster CPT performing. Whoa. That's, the, that's the biggest <laughs> act on the 19th. That's this coming next week, Wednesday. On the Friday, we have uh, two artists that already appeared on the SA Got Talent program. That's uh, Al Peterson, he's a singer-songwriter. And then Seth McKinnon, he's a beatbox artist. And then we have local artists as well from, from Bequeni. That's just between Paul and Wellington, you get Bequeni. We've got two, two groups. Just to give, you, give them that, that exposure in terms of uh, being on the same stage yes. as the big acts. But one of the biggest acts um, on the Friday night, next week, Friday night, the 21st, is Early B. Do you know Early B, Len? <laughs> <laughs> no, Early B sings Lekker J, Lekker J. Yes. And he's got that one, <laughs> uh, one, one big number, or big, big hit at the moment, which is called Ben 10. Yes, I was going to say Ben 10. <laughs> <laughs> I do know. Who doesn't know him? His song is playing on the radio every five minutes these days. That's good, eh? Well, you know, it sounds like a wonderful uh, affair. It sounds not just, you're just not catering only for the cyclists. It's for the families. It's for the spectators. People want to just go out and have a good time and witness some great cycling. Hey, That's great. And, and, and it's that time of the year. Everyone's taking leave and, 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 and everyone wants to experience a bit of a uh, festive atmosphere. So Paul 6 will really de deliver in that specifically. Yeah. And you've delivered in terms of bringing that event to the Paul. So thank you very much for doing something wonderful for the, for the cyclists in the, in the Western Cape and in the country at large. And for putting Paul on the map for the cycling calendar, we wish you every success with the event. Thank you so much, Lynn. Okay. After the break, we'll be back with our final guests. So please stay tuned for that.